Lovely wishes, it's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches, where we have sunshine and birds. So, uh, I hope we get some good birds back there while while we're watching. Uh, we have had, um, for those of you not in our general neck of the woods, we have these little birds called juncos, and they come in the winter. Um, the old wives' tale, that be the word, um, is that um, when the juncos come, it's going to snow two weeks after they come. And then um, we could get snow up to two weeks after they leave, which I know is baloney. Um, but they're flocking. I'm getting so many of them that I think they're getting ready to go. And I've evicted them weeks and weeks, and weeks ago and they just went, yeah, never mind you. So uh, it's a beautiful day. I was outside walking this morning. Um, finally, finally, finally. So it's work in progress Wednesday. I do have something to share and something that I could use some um, opinions. I could use an opinion, advice, opinion, what, however we want to put it. I have decided that I am going to make a quilt for each one of my family members. Um, it will take a while and maybe I won't work on one for ages, but I'm going to sort of kind of keep my eyes open for like the perfect quilt for, you know. So um, I decided I'm going to start with Emerson because Emerson is the sweetest little boy. I always tell him he's my favorite little boy in the world. He gives hugs. I can't even tell you. I mean, I am not a small woman and he puts his arms around me and just squishes his head into me and he doesn't care. He didn't care that I got a belly. He just loves me. And now I'm gonna get emotional. Um, and I just love him to pieces, just, mm. So I'm gonna start with Emerson and um, I found this Charlie Harper fabric that's got fish on it and Emerson loves to fish among other things, but he loves to fish. So um, I have started, I, I'm, I have no pattern, I'm making it up, um, which could be the first problem, but I, I have faith, I'm gonna, it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go to another little video here that I did of um, the, pl the plan and what I need help with, so have a look. Okay, so the fish are cut into fours and they have black, obviously, all the way around them. And then there's gonna be a three inch piece between each one and then a piece at the bottom and then again up at the top and then you can see. So on the left is a brown fabric and on the right is a uh, blue and I'm getting more of I'm using scraps right now so I'm getting more but do you like one better than the other like do you prefer the brown to the blue or the blue to the brown or should I just mix them up um this is from Charlie Harper it's called Lake House and those are the only two um other co in the in the collection that I felt like sort of worked with the fish. Um, so I'll just get a little closer so you can see. There's some fish and there's the brown and then there's the blue. Right now I'm leaning to the blue, but I like the brown also. So tell me what you think. And then this is them uh, mixed up so just so you could get a visual of if I used both thank you again so I started thinking that the brown I went I started with the brown for the centers um it is going to be backed in brown minky he loves soft fuzzy stuff so brown minky will be on the back um and then I started the blue, I only had scraps of, so it's not quite the right length, but um, there's more coming. 
Of course there is. <laughs> so then I got the blue out and went, oh, okay, I, I like the blue. And then I mixed them up and went, oh, maybe I like, so I need help. You tell me what you think. Do we want to just go with the blue because it does really brighten things up or mix and match, uh, which is kind of how I'm leaning right now, but I could, I could use some help. So um, we got three boxes yesterday and two of them are small and fairly quick to get through. So I think I'm gonna do them both in this video. It's the Alderwood Modern Makes and the um, Creekside Lessons in Color. Uh, we do not judge the lessons in color, but um, since that's been something I've sort of been working on, well, I'll sh go ahead and share. So let's go to the other camera and have a look. All right, so let's start with the Modern Maker, Alderwood Modern, however. Um, it came on the 8th. It is $32 plus shipping. And let me find my implement. We got the Blue Madoom. I haven't used the Blue Madoom in quite some time. So let's, let's get out the Doom portion and cut her on open. I think that's... Okay. Ooh, I kind of like this. Let's get everything out. Whoops. Is it a caramel? Oh, it's sea salt. Bummer. Bummer. Jeez, right. come on, help me. So. Shimmy. It's called Shimmy. <laughs> shimmy Quilt. Talk to me of sizing. Finish size is 20 by 20. Oh, so it's just a little, it's just like a table square. I like that. Oh yeah, I, I'm i gonna do this. I, because it's got those curves. Um, huh, and look at how cute that is. That is really, especially if you've got a funky um, or mid-century modern or I don't know. I'm, I just know I'm liking it. So here is the fabrics. They look to be your basic, um, they're very soft. Um, there is zero documentation. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't get. Nope, zero. Zero documentation, but okay. Um, and then there's your batting and the backing, maybe. I okay. I'm. I like this. This is. I like this one best of what we've gotten so far. So we have to give it a zero for documentation because there was none. One project. Yes, I will make that project. Um. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give them a zero for creatively curated because it's not really curated. Or, yeah, yeah, okay. The fabric quality is excellent. The preference, I I like it. Would I have chosen that color? For fall, yeah, I would. Okay, uh, value versus cost, $32. I think anytime you go online and look at a kit um, for pretty much anything, you're going to pay at least 25 And this comes with the backing and the, uh, the you know, the soft fleecy stuff. And batting, the word is batting. I'm going to give it a nine for value versus cost. Um, uh, I'm just going to throw it right down the middle at a five. 
I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I, I will make it. So that's, I'm just going to take it up to a six, a little fat six. Okay. So what say you? We will move this aside. And let's see what we got going on here with the um, creative Creekside Quiltings Lessons in Color. Um, I need to do this off camera, but I'm still here. I'm still here. Come on. Here we go. There is um there is some tape on this. I'm coming from a long line of women who overused tape. I'm gonna give them a break. No, seriously, it's a joke in our family how much tape we use. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. Holy cow. Okay, this this is something that I have become a little bit obsessive about. And that is that when you mail something like fabric or something that could be damaged by water, that you put it in some kind of a waterproof container. That's why every giveaway I do, I, it comes in a mesh project bag because I don't want it to get wet if the post office decides to take out their grievances upon, upon my package. So that they did that very right. I do like that sticker. Come on. Oh, and a color wheel. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm just a, I'm a hot mess today. Um, I wish I could tell you why, but it's kind of a secret. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway. A pocket color wheel. But now I need to figure out how to use this one. Okay. Well, that's cool. So this is Bluebell. The color of the month is Bluebell. It's a light blue akin to sky blue. Not as light as a pastel blue. Hmm, I would, I would say that. Very interesting. Um, where is it on the color wheel? It's somewhere within the blues. All right, so this is what they've done, taking three colors and ombreing them. So this is aqua, this is bright turquoise, this is Prussian blue. I like that. I might, I might do that. But then look, they took those three colors and did like, this makes me feel like a seatbelt, <laughs> but but this I really, 
Not this one, again, seed felt, but this one I really like. Okay, oh, I got a plan there. There is one, one side, cool. I, I really hope that they, um, I'm, I don't know if they're sold out, but I hope they continue this program because it's, I like it. All right, I'll see you at the other camera. Okay, both positive experiences for me. Um, this, this particular modern mix, I, I like better than I have the previous ones. Um, and you know, a sm a, there's a lot to be said for a small project. And I think that's probably one of the things that, that OpenGate does really well. Well, aside from choose glorious fabric and write their own patterns and, but anyway, um, that, that their projects aren't these huge take months kind of projects. Uh, and they're, everything you need is there. And, and Modern Makes is doing that just on a smaller scale. So, and at that price point, at a smaller price point. So, um, yeah, I, I was kind of impressed. So, um, it's baby day. <laughs> That's why I'm so, I'm such a mess. It's baby day. Um, I have not heard from her. I, I left her a text at 930 and I've not heard anything back from her. So I'm really hoping she's sleeping and not that something went, you know, how moms do, like that she's not ending up with a cesarean. She's not dilating, which is, um, she her water broke uh, middle of the night. They just said, come on in, you know, and stay until we've got a baby. And uh, she called me at, well, she texted me. <laughs> in the middle of the night. And then she called at about seven or so. And um, she sounded really perky, really, you know, um, but she isn't dilating. So they started her on Pitocin. Um, and we'll just wait and see till we have a baby. So today, if all things go well, should be Miss River Elizabeth's birthday. And I will share a picture when I, when I know and when I see her, so. Uh, be well, be safe, and here it is, your moment is in. I'm gonna go chase you.